Hello everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Simply Crochet. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on a really cute stitch called the Claw Foot Stitch. And uh, yes, it is uh, fairly easy for beginners uh, to pick up this stitch. So we will begin with a slip knot. And I am using a lightweight, um, this is uh, one of my favorite scrap yarns. It's a wool and alpaca blend. And I'm using a size F hook or 3.75 millimeter hook. And uh, well, we're going to be doing a chain of multiple of two. Once you determine the width of your project, you can pause this video and do your multiple of two. Today's sample, I did a multiple of two uh, of 18 chains. So if you'd like to follow along with that, 18 chains. Okay, so we will begin our stitch by doing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One, two, insert your hook, draw up a loop, and go through two loops. And you will do a single crochet all the way across this foundation row. We've completed single crochets all the way across and now we will chain four. One, two, three, four. Now that chain four will count as a double crochet plus one chain. So we will then turn our work and we will skip this first stitch right here at the base of those chains. And in the next stitch, we will yarn over, insert our hook into that second stitch. We will yarn over again, insert our hook into the next stitch. Now we have five loops and then we will yarn over and go into that next stitch until we have seven loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you will yarn over and go through six of those seven loops to where you have two remaining loops on your hook. You will yarn over and go through those two loops, then chain one. And that is our claw foot stitch. Now to begin the next one, you will yarn over and you will insert your hook in that last worked stitch. You did that last stitch, so you will go into that yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up another loop. You have five loops. You will yarn over and go into the next one, pull up a loop until you have seven loops on your hook. Then you will yarn over and go through six of those loops. You have two loops left on your hook, yarn over and go through two, the remaining two. Then you will chain one. So Make sure you don't forget that chain one. So let's do that again. Yarn over, again you're going into inserting your hook in that last worked stitch. Three loops, yarn over, into the next stitch. You have five loops, yarn over, and then you have your seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through six of those loops until you have two loops remaining, yarn over and go through the remaining and then chain one. So repeat that stitch, that claw foot stitch, all the way across this next row. We completed this row with our claw foot stitch and at the end here you should have one stitch left and you will do a double crochet on that last stitch.
then we will chain one and then turn our work. And as you can see, the other side of your work is looks exactly the same. So that's good. So now we will do a single crochet in this very first stitch, which is at the bottom right there. And you will do a single crochet there. Then you will do a single crochet in the space between there. Then you will do a single crochet at the top of your previous cloth with stitch. So that is the next stitch and you will do a single crochet there. Again, a single crochet in the space, a single crochet at the top of the next stitch and you will do this all the way across for this next row. are near the end of this single crochet row. Now we will do a single crochet in this space right here. This is our space, this is our turning chain space. You will do a single crochet there and then you will do another single crochet in the third of the turning chain. So you will, this is your turning chain, so you will count one, two, three and you will do another single crochet in that third chain above that turning chain and that completes that row right there. Now you will turn your work, you will chain three, one, two, three, I meant four, sorry, four. <laughs> so that is a, a considered a double crochet plus chain one. So you do four there. Then in this next row, we will do our um, claw foot stitch again. So you will yarn over, you will skip this first stitch right here, and you will go into this next stitch. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and go into the next stitch. So you have your seven loops on your hook, you will go through six of those seven until you have two remaining loops on your hook and you yarn over, go through those two, then chain one. Let's do another one. Yarn over, again you will insert your hook in that last worked chain uh, space right there, stitch. So you will insert your hook in that last stitch Yarn over, go into the next one. Yarn over, go into another one until you have the seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through six. Yarn over, go through the remaining two and chain one. And that is the stitch uh, for this pattern. So you will yarn over, go into that previous worked stitch, yarn over, yarn over seven loops yarn over go that through is our cloth beautiful beautiful cloth foot stitch and this can be worked and used for any type of yarn any size hook to to uh, go with that yarn and it looks beautiful for any projects any projects you have there and um, I will do a little sample and be right back a little bit larger sample and I'll be right back as you can see, this is a gorgeous stitch. Again, the claw foot stitch, and this can be used for any, any project. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If so, please like and subscribe, uh, share the video. Really, really appreciate your support, and thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.